Waltham, after the Boston Celtics fell to the Cleveland Cavaliers in Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals on Friday, Marcus Smart promised blood in Game 7, kind of. It's not going to be pretty, Smart said. You got to be able to get down and get dirty. You can't go out and try to look pretty. You have to be ready for a dogfight. We got to be ready to come up with our nose bloodied, we got to be ready to come out with our mouth bloodied, we have to be coming out ready to fight, Stevens walked back Smart's comments at shoot around on Sunday, prior to Game 7, kind of. I just think you try to play appropriately physical, Brad Stevens said, smiling. And the difference is I think that's smart, when Smart says ugly and physical, in his mind, that's beautiful. It's all a matter of interpretation. The Celtics don't mind getting physical. They don't mind instigating either. When the Cavaliers shove, they will push back. When the Celtics score, they will stare down whichever Cavalier stood in their way. Even in the midst of a Game 6 outpouring, when LeBron James was roasting every Celtic defender unfortunate enough to guard him, 21-year-old Jalen Brown was happy to challenge him, politely, from the looks of things, after the whistle in the second half. The Celtics will have a bit of an edge in the physicality department from the tip in Game 7, Cavaliers star Kevin Love was ruled out with a concussion on Saturday, stemming from a collision with Jason Tatum in the first quarter of Game 6. Love, who has now had multiple concussions this season, went to the locker room and never returned after he and Tatum smacked heads as Tatum pursued a defender around a screen set by Love. According to Stevens on Saturday, Tatum is fine. In this series, whichever team has won the rebounding battle has won the game. The importance of Love in that category wasn't lost on the Celtics. He's a great rebounder, and he can really shoot the ball, Al Horford said. But also Jeff Green will be in, we're aware of him. He can also shoot the ball as well and do some different things as well. Our game plan doesn't change much. I'm sure it's a big loss for them. The Celtics will need to take advantage of a Cavaliers team with very little help around LeBron James. They will need to match and exceed the physicality. They will need to rebound. But in a Game 7 nobody expected them to reach, playing against the greatest player of his generation, Steven said, not for the first time in this series, he just wants his players to enjoy themselves. If you don't have fun with this, why are you here, Steven said. That's the way that I look at it, that's the way that they look at it. We realize that we still have to focus on the task and the task is great. But we have to do our jobs on every possession and there's a lot of physical demands that go along with that. There's a lot of emotional and mental demands that go along with that. That's what these guys prepare for every minute of every day. How much fun is it to still be a part of playing, and get a chance to do something like this, there's nothing like it, Al Horford joined the team in the summer of 2016 citing moments like Sunday evening at the TD Garden as one of the reasons. It's going to be electric, Horford said. I just think our fans are going to be ready to go from the beginning. I've been telling you guys, these are the kind of moments that we want to play in and be a part of in TD Garden. I'm just excited.